morning everybody we are about to do some bass fishing we just got to the lake and uh yeah i'm gonna get the gear out of the car and we're gonna start fishing do some bass fishing let's go all right guys we are gonna start with the uh booyah frog here and see if we can't get us a nice bite with that and we'll uh, work from there. A little morning pad fishing. Up. Oh, just see the big fish jump out in the lily pads. See if I can reach them. Yes, I can. Yep, they're jumping out there. That's awesome. take this carp set up off so I can use this rod these are all my extra treble hooks here replace the store manufacturer hooks on my crankbaits and jerk baits and stuff Top water poppers. Put some better hooks on. We're going to uh, we're going to put on a bait that I don't use a lot. It's going to be the spinner bait. Just thinking maybe you get them a little bit more flash, a little more vibration. Show them something different. Really, it's all about showing them something different right now. Fish on. First cast, fish on. We got a pickerel. First cast with the spinner bait. Not what we're looking for, but uh, just talking about showing them something different. As soon as I put it in there, first cast. Not a bad pickerel, about uh, 14, 15 inches. Let's let him go. Guys, I can't say it enough. Sometimes you just throw, show them something different that I haven't thrown in a couple days. I haven't thrown a spinner bait almost all the season. Actually, it is the first time I threw a spinnerbait, and uh, literally the first cast before I even started to crank it, that fish hit. So that's a lesson learned. Sometimes you show them something different. Boom.
So we got all the gear out of the car. We've made it to our second location. The first one I got a pick roll on spinner bait. First time throwing a spinner bait this year. Got one on it on the first cast. And not a lot else was happening. They were jumping in the pads there, but they weren't biting. And uh, just figured I'd let those fish chill down. They haven't been there in two days, so come over to another location. See if we can catch some fish over here. Okay, I'm gonna try a spinner bait. Show them something different. I got I can't emphasize on showing them different. I picked up the worm, so the spinner bait, that was good. Nothing wrong with the worm, but I'm trying to cover a little bit of water. It's tough to do that with soft plastic. Oh, big fish jumping out there. Might have to put top water on. All right, so I've moved to the back half. And uh, I'm going to start in this furthest back cove here with the lily pads. Because over there on the right side where I was fishing, they're jumping in the middle of the lake in the shallows, eating bait and uh, dragonflies. So I'm going to come back here to where these lily pads are that I can reach. See if I can get them to eat top water in the lily pads. Fish on. Just a baby, but he's on. Looks like a little baby bass. He's over there in the lily pads, of course. Just a little squeaker, but they're all fun. It's a good start. Got him on top water. Yep, they're eating dragonflies this morning. They're on that top water pattern. If you're paying attention to what's happening in front of you, you could uh, have the success I just had. You know, not a giant, but I saw in two two today everything is jumping where I've been eating dragonflies, and so it's a good time to throw top water if they're eating top.
fish on. Fought that fish that was out there jumping in the weed line. Not a giant, tastes a little bit bigger than the other one. What we got? Looks like a bass. Yep. Got them on that top order. They're all out there jumping. You gotta follow the pattern, fellas. Some days you see them chasing around bait. Today I seen them jumping all over the place. Give them what they're chasing. Just a dink, but fun, fun fish nonetheless. Going right back out there. All right, guys, sorry about that. My battery died. We're still fishing a white swim jig. Fish on. White swim jig. First cast over here in the pads. It's not fighting too great. It's just a little guy. Water skating him. Best one of the day. See that? As soon as I change it to the white swim jig. Look how he ate that. All the way. I got you, buddy. I got you. Not a giant, just a squeaker, but fun fish. That's why I talk about uh, changing your colors and all that kind of good stuff. As soon as, I, as soon as I threw that in there, he was all over it. The white swim jig. That's three dinks. Probably gonna catch a better one soon. Unless the dinks are eating today. Fish on! That's a good one. Big fish. Big fish. Get me wrapped up in the pants, come on. Big fish. It's a good fish. He's dragging. Stay on. Yes, sir. Pounds and a half fish. Looks like he's got some bluegill down there. Something. Not a bad one. Just snap a quick picture. Woo! We got no light situation. He's over there in the pads. Well, I just walked up to this spot and uh, there's like a one and a half, two pound bass swimming around. 
Let's see if we could get him. I don't know where he went. He was right here in front of me. Yeah, I'm gonna put the rattle strap on. go with a uh, bluegill color this time. Matching the hatch here. Got a lot of bluegill swimming around in front of me. Let's see if they want to play with the trap. Fish on. Got a pretty decent bass. Might be a keeper. Bass. Not a bad one. Got him on the uh, bluegill rattle trap. We're gonna let him go. That's some. Give him some live coverage. Some pedestrian, some live fish catch action. Pretty awesome. Okay, guys. So that's gonna do it for the fishing for today. We're gonna wrap it up. I uh, started at a different pond this morning, threw a bunch of different baits and seen them jumping in the lily pads. They didn't want to eat the frog or anything else I was throwing. Decided to show them something different and throw a spinner bait for the first time this year and got a pick roll my first flip in with it. And nothing after that. Decided to uh, make a move and come to this pond, see if I could find some more active fish that were biting. Uh, when I got here, the fish been jumping out of the water eating dragonflies since I got here. And so I decided to stop throwing a swim jig and put on a topwater popper. Caught two little dinks on the topwater popper. Then I wanted to change it up, so I put on a swim jig. Got one on, on the swim jig in the pads. Uh, then I went back to the topwater popper. Got an, uh, my first decent keeper of the day on topwater. Uh, then I moved back down to where I'm standing right now and was throwing top water and nothing was happening. I caught one little dink on it, I think, maybe. And then I switched to a rattle trap to see if I could catch one because they weren't hitting anything else. And got another decent one, might have been a keeper. Uh, and so it was a successful day of fishing. And, uh, you know, just goes to show you that, you know, you gotta keep ro rotating through colors and different baits and uh, see what they're they're in the mood for and you can get them you just gotta keep rotating and keep trying different things 
But uh, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and always keep on fishing. Peace out. <coughs> Fish on. Fish on. Good one. We got a good one. Yeah, not a bad one at all. Got him on the swim jig. Got him on the swim jig. He crushed it. She's a fatty too. I was feeling like giving up, guys, to be honest with you. It was getting hot. The bite was slow. And I was thinking about stopping and getting a drink, but I decided to change to a swim jig instead of throwing a jig the whole time. And uh, this is what we came across. So awesome. Made my day right here. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. We're gonna let it go. Yes, sir. That's why if you come out here, you gotta deal with the heat and the conditions. You just gotta keep going, man. Not worry about the heat. Just keep throwing, keep changing, and trying different things. And look what we got. A fish on. Fish on, fish on. Yeah. We're out here doing that work in the daytime, in the heat, in the struggle. <laughs> 